Hello and welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now and today I'm gonna create the ICD pipeline with the Azure Web Apps and uh, GitHub repository. So we are going to deploy a Node.js project. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So you have to create a new folder as usual. I'm going to name it whatever it may be. Uh, let's rename it to Azure. And now. Uh, after that you need to install azure tools from here oh, so you need to search for azure and you have to have an azure account available okay i already have it so oh you need to install this thing this is the first requirement after that uh, you have to have an account okay so you, you will not use this uh, ui okay web ui or uh, rather we'll choose to uh use these things okay so this is the first thing after that uh the next thing is um uh, git okay so what we can do is so we can create uh, that continuous development and deployment process so here we go and uh, from here we'll quickly create a new repository okay and uh name it so i'm gonna name it this one okay create this thing Okay, cool and uh, let me initialize a uh, new github repository over here then it's command j to open terminal or control plus backtick and after that i'm going to uh, create git in it okay after that npm in it and why uh, and we need to install express okay and uh, we need to use create one now uh, um, that git ignore files so git ignore okay uh with node and vs code let's say i'm, I'm hoping that uh, this command will work okay generally i use git ignore this node let's see so yeah the package.json is created now i need to create app.js of course so app.js quickly then uh, normal yeah we got the git ignore as well okay cool so cons express equal to require express okay you can choose anything okay fast api spring boot no worries okay um the process is same so this is just a hello world app that i'm going to create here quickly after that uh, we'll quickly deploy okay now port will you need to write process.env.port so i should will automatically uh, provide the port okay all uh, to run this thing in locally you can provide it as well so simply app dot get as usual slash and uh, here you can pass res rqrs and uh, res dot set this is it and this is hello express let's say this is it okay now this is the program i have made now the process is extremely very 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 easy okay create a csd pipeline so now let's see uh if you have this thing once you install this azure tools after that it will uh, ask you for the login you once you log in um you you can get all the things okay these things now this thing app service is um i need to create here one app service okay so you can click here as well okay but after that you will no uh, you can create new web app with just three steps okay but i need to choose the advanced option so for that you can do control shift p or command shift p and uh, you need to choose this thing new web app create new web app you can search for azure app create new web app but advanced feature so uh, after that uh, you can name it okay whatever it may be so let me choose the name of my app so okay this is the name of my app after that um you can create a new resource group i'm going to create new or exist like uh, if you already created then you can choose so i'm going to create new again with the name of qcom so easy to identify after that new app so you can deploy your node.net python project php ruby java projects okay but uh, for now I'm, i'll be using node 16 okay then uh, recently i'm using windows linux you can choose anything by the way no worries it's all up to you 
after that i'm choosing windows so now um, you need to choose your location so i'm from india so i'm going to choose central india okay now service plan you can create if you want like uh, i'm going to name it same as usual qcom so free it will be free so try with the no cost okay no worries after that you can skip this process for now if you want to see the insights uh, you can create a new insights account but for now i don't need this thing so this is it it will take some time to create this thing uh, till then what we can do is we can quickly uh, commit the code okay so it will be easy to uh, deploy so control v okay quickly add everything hit commit hyphen m okay let me uh and i hope uh, i don't wanna commit this thing okay so let me get status quickly so let it be we'll see that later so i'll get commit hyphen m commit then get push quickly so you need to set the upstream master of course what is to grab this thing first finish so we um we have successfully committed the code after that uh this is the process of committing code is done already and after that we need to uh, wait for this azure so this uh uh created okay so we can also right click here or uh, open in portal if you want you can open this thing in portal as well so you can see i'm not going to do anything over here but uh, just if you want to make some changes over there you can make the changes okay like deployment center generally we use uh if you want to set up uh the cicd you can choose from here as well you can choose github azure repos okay so uh, after that you can choose your username whatever it may be so i'm already connected to my uh, account okay that's why i'm getting this options so for the first time you need to log in or you need to provide the uh the token okay so if you are not familiar with the token so let me show you quickly guys uh, go to the settings okay uh, go to your uh, developer settings and here personal access token you need to create or generate new token if if uh, if you need you can okay so uh, you can now uh, create new token okay uh, like you can provide all the access so that it will generate the token so let me select everything for now uh, it's not needed okay but uh, let me show you once again it will be easy for you guys to name it to order maybe uh, okay for now no expiry no generate token so if because vs code is going to ask you i think okay so this is my token of course i'm going to delete this thing before that let me show you now what you have to do is you can see this deployment thing okay so inside that deployment uh what you have to do is you just need to connect your uh, github repository to your development okay so simply click here and uh, here you can choose your organization so i'm already connected so that's why I'm, uh, otherwise it will ask for uh, ask you to connect with github okay so it's my career you can change name to your repository whatever it may be then let me quickly delete this site so okay uh let's go back to repository okay where was i okay so my name is this name of my repository so i'm going to search here select this thing branch will master of course and this is it the csd is created okay now whatever uh, oh so you are going to commit here okay it's going to deploy automatically over here don't need to worry about anything else for now it's hello express for the first time it will might take uh, long okay i'm not going to pause this video so, um, you will know better guys okay after that uh, whatever the files that we are commit committing here that you can access from here as well okay once the code is committed 
uh, you can see here all the files will be loaded automatically so inside deployments now uh, it will automatically load the first commit in it you can see here and inside files we got all the files that uh, we have so it, it is deployed and if i go here okay um inside azure or you can right click on here as well okay so open browse website you can click here and you will get your output here hello express you can see guys and let me commit something else okay hello express or hello mahesh this time my god v2 let's say okay version 2 let me comment quickly git add git comment okay message did okay and git push this is it okay now it will be very quick no worries okay so let me uh, refresh this thing uh, it will load uh, the commit quickly and now uh, if you click on commit okay or deployment logs you will commit here so you can see it's already done actually it will take my take two or three seconds i guess so if i go here if i i'm not sure but uh, yes not more than that five second max so you can see uh it was very quick and uh, that's how you can set up your CICD pipeline okay uh technically it's not a, a CICD it is continuous continuous deployment you can say okay uh, so after that there are lots of things that you can use additionally uh, with your github actions from here okay this is the one type of way the easiest way to deploy uh, continuously uh, without worrying about your uh, azure okay this is the thing that uh, after that there are few more things like uh, you scale up to production plan then then you can set up the slots and uh, we jobs as well okay uh, you can see logs over here and application settings uh, for the variables you can set up your variables and let's say if you are using postgres or something like that so you can quickly uh, create your uh, database connection from here okay so once you click here you can create your new account quickly let's say i'm going to use postgres single server okay uh, so let me click here you can use nowadays we mostly use uh, cosmos db okay it's same like mongodb okay but let's say if you are using postgresql you can name it again i'm going to name it qcomp okay and after that the basic plan will be this okay and uh, username administration username i hope uh, i remember my username but uh, i'm not sure or uh, okay this is a new username so let me use qcom once again okay the password me use qcom at one two three okay so it cannot contain the username okay cool cool <laughs> so let me use um uh, two one two three four okay let me use my own password okay cool this is perfect i think okay it is secured password okay this is cool okay so enter after that confirm password okay this is it and now resource group of course in same resource okay that we generally uh, just used central india of course uh, like choose according to your region so this is how we we have uh, added our postgres okay and uh, you can then create connection over here as well or one more thing okay here is the database okay so uh, now you can create database from here as well so it's creating database and it will automatically connect here as well so all the things that we generally do here on uh, our uh, uh, portal okay so try to make a, it's a good practice to use this tools okay like uh, generally i use docker for uh, connecting uh registries okay if either you are working on registries you can directly 
connect with Azure from here only and you can see uh, all the Azure things that uh, you can see here if you want to create a new registry you can create from here only so this is how you can set up everything so this is the best tool uh, that you can uh, uh, create anything so this is it guys like uh, this is the complete CICD process I hope uh, you enjoyed guys so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here and please let me know in the comment box what you want from my side definitely I'll make uh, more such uh, useful videos for you guys and uh, please uh, subscribe my channel if you haven't already and uh, don't forget to like uh, this video if you enjoyed thank you so much have a good day bye bye let me Stop recording quickly. <laughs>